Hello, ghost hunters. On Friday, Phasmophobia announced this, Phasmophobia 2. For those of you who maybe did not clue in on the Friday announcement, before we go any further, I would like to point out that Friday was April 1st, also known as April Fool's Day. And while this expedition update was obviously an April Fool's joke, this patch that was not a patch was a gold mine of humor and jokes at Phasmophobia's own expense. As this was not a real update, I will not be covering every bit of the patch notes, but I would like to touch on a few parts that are particularly humorous and others which may also hint at what's to come in Phasmophobia's future. First, let's take a look at these new locations. I personally could see all three of these as future maps, although not with the details listed. I have heard others mention both a lighthouse and a church location, so it would not surprise me if both of those are not on the drawing board for the developers. And while I am sure a fun fair type map would be interesting, I personally hope that it's not coming to Phasmophobia. The current outdoor map, Maple Lodge, is not a fan favorite and lacks the same feel that the other locations have. I will say that if the devs could create a graveyard with dynamically generated gravestones for every previous death on my account, well, I would certainly love to see that. That would be one very full graveyard. Next up are the ghost changes of which I have to say were quite funny. I would love to see a poltergeist yeeting players. An abake that constantly changes its appearance would also be quite amusing. The mimic as the ghost that has all evidence, all strengths, all weaknesses? Who needs nightmare mode now? But I have to say, my favorite is the twins, as the twin will now join the team and help you investigate. For additional equipment, Phasmophobia made hints at a ghost Pokemon. And how about this teddy bear that hugs the nearest player to increase your sanity? Aww! And using the bone to summon a dog to follow you and bark at the ghost? Would have been perfect if it had been a cat. We all know cats see ghosts. New to the game, probably the most notable is the exorcism. Devs do not plan to bring exorcism to the game, and I think for most of us ghost hunters, that is a relief. But maybe that is why it is worded the way it is. Every ghost you exercise deletes that ghost type so you will never get it again. They ever did add this to the game for real? Well, I would certainly exercise the shade. I also especially love the dust particles to every room to make it more difficult to find ghost orbs. I'm not sure if this is a hint at how hard it is to spot them when it's snowing, or if the dev is just giving all photographers a nod. If you know, you know. I also particularly enjoy the now a chance for no ghost to spawn in the location. Players can select none in the journal to receive rewards. Because who hasn't been in a location where the ghost just wouldn't do anything? So you decided it wasn't haunted after all. And for changes to the game, well, you can't deny that devs were poking fun at themselves and us ghost hunters as well. After all, being fined by homeowners for every item that has been misplaced, dropped, broken, or especially stolen is humorous because we've all pilfered a thing or two from the haunted locations. And my favorite from this category replaced all spirit box audio with if you've been playing Phasmophobia since the early days, then certainly you saw a meme or two about the E response on the spirit box. My personal opinion is that we were hearing leave, although apparently some ghost hunters think the ghost was saying old because there's definitely an E sound in that word. And the part that most certainly was the biggest poke at Phasmophobia itself was the fixes category because most, if not all of these, are or were actual bugs in the game, or are not even bugs at all, but how the game is intended to work. For example, fixed a bug where the equipment and flashlights would flicker when the ghost appeared is exactly how the game is supposed to work. And players being able to hide behind doors actually does work in the game now, but removing all the doors to prevent this would be ridiculous. Fixed a bug where you could get EMF5 by looking at the activity monitor was apparently a real bug, although it's fixed now. Fixed a bug where voice recognition breaks when tabbing out is an actual bug in the game now, sort of. Developers have acknowledged and admitted that there is no way to fix this bug as it has more to do with how the game hears you and less with the actual game itself. The official fix is to tab out and then click on the Phasmophobia icon on your taskbar rather than tabbing back in. While the devs did acknowledge that this was just an April Fool's joke, there is a patch coming soon. 
The devs have been working on a VR overhaul of the game for quite some time, and that is currently in the testing phase. So I would expect that we would see an update with this soon, along with some other changes to the game. Did you catch the April Fool's update from the devs? What parts were the most entertaining and amusing to you? Let me know in the comments below. If you think any of the things mentioned sounded good, let me know what you would like to really see come to the game. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and as always, happy hunting.